Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and in this video I'm going to teach you how to crochet the happiness poncho which I am wearing in this photo. Should you have any question regarding this tutorial please feel free to ask them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. If you like the tutorial, then please support me by liking this video, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and ring the little bell to get notified whenever I post new videos. This tutorial is made in the Hobby Twister yarn, which is a very soft yarn made of 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. These cakes comes in 250 grams, which gives you a thousand meters of lovely yarn. And the yarn comes with a recommended crochet hook size of three and a half to four millimeters. It's a fine weight to yarn and it can be washed at 40 degrees Celsius. This yarn is made in Turkey and it's also Ukotex brand that which basically means it's been tested against any sort of harmful substances. The colorway here is colorway 40 and colorway 40 is also known as Storm Chaser. The Storm Chaser comes with this very lovely light um, steel blue that goes into a more um, gray steel light color that then fades out to a darker steel blue um, towards blue which ends in a dark navy at the outer edge. I will be continuing the poncho by adding um, some um, twister solid into the mix to ensure the length of the poncho is what I need it to be. And this twister solid cake is the colorway of 106 which is known as navy. These twister solid cakes comes with 100 grams and they are coming with this 400 meters of yarn. Further than that they have the same specs here for the recommended crochet hook size, washing and everything else. It's basically completely the same yarn here as the big twister. The only difference is it's a small cake and it's 100% solid color. And as you can see, it's the exact same color as what's here at the outer edge. So it's a natural extension of this cake. The happiness poncho is being crocheted with a four millimeter crochet hook. And I will be using my ergonomic prim hooks in the size four millimeters. The happiness poncho starts off with a chain of 130 chain stitches which is then joined in the round with a slip stitch and to start our project we'll start by creating our slip knot which we then insert our hook in and then i'm starting off with chaining 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What I'm going to do now is basically I'm going to ensure that my foundation chain is not going to be twisted for the final work progress. So how I'm doing that is by now removing the hook, then I'm going down here to the start of the very chain where I will insert my hook in the first stitch and then I will reinsert my hook up here and tighten the yarn again. So basically, oops, like this will ensure that I always have keep a track on my whole chain. And I will now just contain, continuing <laughs> by chaining until I reach the 130 chains. And then I'll meet you again to explain you how we 
um, slip stitch it together uh, so that this foundation chain is not twisted. Now I have completed the 130 chains and to join this foundation chain in the round with a slip stitch we only need to yarn over and then pull through both of these loops. And there is that. We have a non-twisted foundation chain. To continue with round one, we will have to chain one. And then we will simply, in the back loop of all the chain stitches, work in one single crochet in each chain. I will now, in the back loops, work in single crochets. To be exact, 130 single crochets until the round is complete. And once the round is complete, I will join this round with a slip stitch until that we will proceed with a pattern and prepare for the slow increases that will, in the end, form our poncho. I just finished the previous round of single crochets and slip stitched those together and to start on the second round we have to chain three so one two and three and then we work in a double crochet oh yarn over a double crochet here in the following stitch so like this we make double crochet and then we are going to chain two one two and then we're going to work in additionally two double crochets in the same stitch we just worked in the previous uh, double crochet in. This is what help causing the poncho, um, the, the pointy ends, so to say. So that would be the second double crochet here like that. Then from here on we will now proceed working one double crochet into each of the following 64 stitches where we then again will make two double crochets in a stitch chain two and work another two double crochets into that same stitch before we then complete the rest of the round with just double crochets. I have now finished the 64 double crochets and before I started on those I had placed a stitch marker here where um, just after the 64th uh, double crochet to make it easier for me to know when to stop. So I'm gonna remove that stitch marker now and then I'm going to proceed by um, in this stitch where the stitch marker was I'm going to place or work in two double crochets. So like this One was it, and now a second one. Then I'm going to chain two and work in another two double crochets in that very same stitch. like this. 
Now I'm going to finish the round by just inserting double crochets in all the remaining stitches, which should then also sum up to another 64 double crochets. And then once that's done, you will basically slip stitch it in together with the start of the round. As you can see, I've now finished the second part of round two and slip stitched it together with the start of that round. To start on round three, we will have to slip stitch into the gap like this. And then we will have to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we will work two double crochets into this gap or chain two space. So one, two, the next step is to work in two double crochets between this double crochet gap. So we work in two double crochets. One. Two. Then we skip a stitch and in the next gap, again, we work in two double crochets. And so we will continue by skipping the following gap, working in two double crochets in the next gap until we reach the point. So this repeats a total of 34 times. Now I've finished the first half part of the third round and we have reached the second chain two gap. And in this we're going to work in two double crochets. So that was one, and then of course a second. Oh. Then we're just gonna tighten them a bit together like that. Then we're gonna chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work in an additional two double crochets in this gap. So like this is one. And two. So now we're going to proceed by doing what we did before, which is inserting two double crochets in each second double crochet gap. So again, two double crochets, inserting in the double crochet gap following. So one, and two then we'll skip one stitch before we proceed with another two double crochet in the following stitch and then we just keep repeating this until we reach the end of this round 
as you can see, I've almost finished round three. And to wrap out round three, we need to work in a double crochet in this chain space down here and then slip stitch it in together with the top, which was the start of the round. So we are working in a double crochet like this and slip stitching it in with the previous start of the round like that. Now we are ready for round four. Round four is the repeating pattern for the rest of the happiness poncho and you will repeat this round until the poncho has reached the desired length where the very last round of course will be the edge and finish. Since we slip stitched in round three into the chain space, we can start round four by chaining five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we work in two double crochets in the chain space. one and two. To proceed, we do like we did in round three, working in two double crochets between the first two double crochet space here. So one double crochet. And two double crochets. Then we skip a stitch and we work in again two double crochets. And this is basically repeating until we reach the end of the first half of round four where we have a chain space. We have now completed the first half of round four and reached the chain space here. Now we're going to work in two double crochets, chain two and then another two double crochets into this chain space. So we start by doing the two double crochets as mentioned. That was one, then a two, and then we chain two, one, two, and then we work in the last two double crochets into the space. One, Two, creating a new space up here. To finish off round four, we will, like we did just before, work in two double crochets in the first double crochet space here after. So one, Two. Then we will skip the next, next stitch and here in this space we will work in two double crochets and this is basically what we will be repeating until the end of this round. To finish round four we will work in a double crochet in the chain space from the beginning of the round and then finalize the round with a slip stitch in the starting chain five of the round, so here. So we work in the double crochet like this. And 
and then we chain into the five chain space here like this. From now on, it's only a question of repeating round four as described until the poncho has reached the desired length and that you are ready to add the edge or finish. I will now keep repeating this pattern until the poncho has reached my desired length and from where I then will explain you how to add the edge and finalize the happiness poncho. As you can see, I've kept repeating the pattern and this work has now reached it the desired length I want to have on the poncho. Therefore, it's now time to add the final edge, which we will do by crocheting one final round. The final round will function in the way that we start by chaining one, then we will work in three single crochets in this gap around the chain. So one, two, and a three. Then we will proceed by working in single crochets in each stitch all the way around this work until we reach the other gap at the opposite side of the poncho where we will also work in three single crochets before finishing the last side and when we get up here to this edge we will finish the round by slip stitching it into the first stitch of this round. I've now completed the whole round of just single crochets and I only need to finish up by entering a slip stitch here in the starting point of the round and of course we pull through the yarn here to finish our work. The only thing I'm missing now is basically to weave in the ends and we have finished the poncho as you saw in the very start of the video. And as you can see, we now have a very beautiful single crochet edge all the way around this poncho.